good sunny afternoon. What's the temperature? 19 degrees. We make no apologies for that. That's good. <laughs> My name is Norman and our driver is Ali. Population of around about 3,000 folk. You'll notice immediately that we drive on the correct side of the road. Offloaded 20 Zodiac type craft containing 90 Argentine commandos who then went into the inner creek and promptly got caught up in the kelp for a couple of hours. And when they eventually came ashore, they came up this track and where it meets the road now, they then split into two groups. One group went to the left of Sappers Hill and the other to the right. The right-hand group, its mission was to uh, go to Government House, knock on the door and ask the Governor to surrender. The problem with that was the guy delivering the message only spoke Spanish <laughs> and the people receiving it didn't understand a word he said. And the fact that he was festooned with um, rifles, grenades, etc. He got shot for his problems, for his troubles. The other group, which went to the left of Sappers Hill here, then uh, marched over to the end of the harbour at Moody Brook, where they attacked the Royal Marine barracks. <coughs> Having thrown the kitchen sink at the barracks, they then realised there was uh, nobody at home. <laughs> remaining in the Falklands. They contain approximately 28,000 mines of which uh, come from either Brazil, Italy or Israel. Due to the fact that the UK government has signed up to a UN convention banning mines in warfare, the UK government is uh, picking up the tab for clearing the mines. And up this valley between Mount Kent and Mount Challenger, you will see the um, phenomenon of a rock run. The collective name for the mountain chain that runs east to west, west to east of East Falklands is Wickham Heights. As we're leaving the Falklands for the UK because of the continual uncertainty um, provided by continual visiting of UK politicians trying to persuade Falkland Islanders to sidle up to the Argentines so that the UK could uh, form some kind of leasing arrangement with the Argentine government. This left Falkland Islanders very uncertain of their future and by 1982 the government here had problems employing um, for the likes of road sweepers, people to empty dustbins, to do the usual utility jobs that you would have in a small town. So if you was to continue that thought, and had the Argentines left it another year, they wouldn't have had to invade, they could have probably walked in. <laughs>
there is a car sales place, just the one, which looks like a car sales room. The other one is at our one and only fuel station, which sells Mitsubishi's. The other one, which is a Land Rover dealer.